Hello and welcome friends. I continue the series of new affordable fountain pens for uh, school children. This time I'm going to talk about Papermate by Reynolds. Reynolds has an uh, interesting history and um, although we have discussed about this history in a previous video where I talked about the Reynolds fountain pens that are made in India. This time we have the Reynolds made in um, China for a European brand. We have on the back of the cardboard box, original package, the fact that this is a product of Newell Europe based in Switzerland and represented in European Union by France Services SAS. And it says that this fountain pen is made in China. In um, the next few minutes, we will talk about the Reynolds and the importance of this name. It is a name of a person who ironically contributed to the demise of the classical fountain pen. You will see he was on the starting wave or he promoted the ballpoint pen, which you know it was the principal enemy of the classical fountain pen. The man who is behind this brand's name is a businessman from Chicago, Milton Reynolds. In 1945, Milton Reynolds was in Buenos Aires, Argentina. There he came across the first commercialized ballpoint, the Biro Pen. When he returned home in the USA in October 1945, he was able to reverse engineer the Biro pen and was the first to manufacture and sell ballpoint pens into the US market. It called it Reynolds Rocket and uh, this pen was introduced at Gimbel's department store in New York City, selling $100,000 worth of pen in the first day. The demand in 1945 was very high. They sold 3,000 pens per day, making it America's number one ballpoint pen. However, within three years, the price of a pen went from $12.50 to only 50 cents. The Reynolds Rocket Pen had a tiny ball bearing that let ink out only when pressed against the item you were writing on. In advertisements, Reynolds claimed it had enough ink to last 15 years without refilling. Reynolds had uh, also a good marketing campaign. In 1947, in a publicity stunt to promote Reynolds pens, Milton Reynolds and William Aldon announced that they will beat Howard Hughes world round the world record. They set a new record time of under 79 hours by, by flying Reynolds bombshell around the world while managing to pass out thousands of pens in promotional events. In 1948, Reynolds expanded overseas and opened Reynolds European branch in France. When Milton Reynolds moved to Mexico, the Chicago-based Reynolds Pen Company closes, but the French subsidiary survives. Now, Reynolds Pens, along with uh, Papermate and Parker, are brands owned by US-based Newell Brands and are sold in more than 70 countries. Returning to our fountain pen, 
It came in this cardboard package. In front it has this transparent plastic. It says that it comes with two international cartridges, blue ones. You see one here, and I believe that one is in the barrel of the fountain pen. It also states a grip comfort. Maybe the grip part is uh, rubberized, we will see. Super glissade means that it simply glides on the paper. And here we have Stilo Plume. Two logos of a girl and a young boy. And I must tell you that this fountain pen is available in different, different colors. With um, animals, with uh, cartoon characters like Tweety, and with butterflies. I think that um, you may call this a fountain pen for girls because it has these elements of uh, pink <laughs> to it and a flower. We are ready to open the package. Let's see. It opens quite easy, as you can see. So we put this aside. We let the fountain pen here and the cartridge here. Let's see now if um, we unscrew the barrel section. Yes, we can see the other cartridge, which is not inserted. The first test that I like to do, of course, we will insert one cartridge and we will see if the other cartridge can be okay. I will try to insert the cartridge in the barrel section, okay. And let's see now if it closes. So no, you can see it doesn't close. So you can use this fountain pen, but only with one more ink cartridge. Let's leave the spare cartridge apart. And let's take a look at the fountain pen. You can see that the cap is rather small. It's a transparent cap. It is friction fit and it uh, closes easily. But when you need to take it apart, you have to apply some little force don't get me wrong, not much force. I think it's uh, quite reasonable for a young uh, girl, but I think that it's rather hard to open. But um, again, you, uh, a little girl could manage. It has this clip, which is made out of plastic, and it's in this pink color. It ends interesting in two heart shapes. Nice for a girl. Let's see now how springy it is. It is quite springy, but it is prone to cracking right here. They added a little bit of material to make this se uh, section quite uh, resistant, but it still has some little problems. Let's... Okay, it closes nice, but you need a little pressure when you pull it off. Another thing is the grip section. You can see that those, mm, I can't call them grip section. The grip section is represented by this pink band. It is a rubberized band and you can hold it like this. You can see here that we have an extensive part of the grip right on the back. We have this little um, holes um, which help with the grip and we also have imprinted China. As you know this fountain pen is made in China. I must say that this product has an interesting interesting looking nib. It is well ornate with uh, those uh, Greek patterns. It doesn't have a breathing hole, but it has uh, the two hearts that are present also on the clip. A nice little detail, and you know that I like details. Here we have the hole, and here we have a hole in the nib. 
It is a design, I believe, for springiness. We will uh, test the nib, of course. On the back, we have a plain, shiny looking feed, a plastic feed. We continue with a part of the battle section that is um, concave. And we reach the part when we can unscrew the battle section. We have painted paper mate with the two hearts. So I think that the two hearts are the logo of the paper mate. Registered mark. This particular model has uh, this part uh, pattern of flowers. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's an orchid flower. The barrel ends in this concave shape. It is quite a shiny shape. Of course, all of it is made out of this shiny, shiny plastic. I have prepared for you some other fountain pens. So this is the paper mate fountain pen by Reynolds and I also have a pelican happy pen made in Germany a special paint made in China for the ocean retailer French retailer a German fountain pen Schneider voice and I have a big X pen, a big easy click. They are both the big pens made in Tunisia, and a Herlitz fountain pen. Herlitz is now a sub brand of the Pelican German fountain pen manufacturer. I will show them side by side. You can see that our fountain pen is quite a small fountain pen i could compare it with the, the big fountain pens i will also leave the dimensions of the paper made fountain pen made in china and after that we will um, do the writing sample before i begin the writing sample Let's uh, see if this pen posts. Yes, you can see it posts quite nice, quite securely, no problem to it. But um, I will leave it uncapped. Let's test it if uh, the ink has reached the nib. Yes, it has. And now I will give it a little zoom. Okay. So. We have here the paper mate fountain pen. This is um, by Reynolds. This is part of the same group where the Reynolds is part these days. This fountain pen was made in China. It has a beautiful steel nib, gold plated. I believe it is an M nib, M for medium nib. Medium nib. Let's see now if we have some um, line variations. No, no flex, but um, as it says on the package, we have a super glisse, a super glider. Uh, you must tell this fountain pen, they, um, they are right. This nib simply glides across the paper. As you can see, we don't have a wet writer. But a nice writer with no scratch, no uh, unpleasant feedback. It is quite a nice fountain pen for uh, young scholars. 
I must tell you that I love the small details in which this fountain pen is uh, made. And also at this price range, we have a nice looking gold plated nib. I must tell you that the nib is my favorite part of this fountain pen. As a shortage, I don't like the length of, the the, of this fountain pen, particularly it can't hold two small size ink cartridges in the same time. But uh, this is not a major problem. And uh, also the grip section, it needs time for you to get uh, used to this particular narrow grip section. This was my review of the Papermate Reynolds fountain pen. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. If you liked this small review of this affordable school fountain pen, please um, subscribe to my channel to support my activity. It was a pleasure for me to review this little fountain pen. I hope that uh, the information in this video were useful to you. Bye-bye.